So maybe the next step um, in this process of uh, being human is a, an excellent conversation we had actually over lunch. Yeah. You know, in terms of, um, you know, a lot of people talk about um, meditation and mindfulness of being in the now, but a lot of people um, fail to understand the concept. And most of us trip over the, the definition or the explanation in terms of what's the difference between conscious and aware, right? For most people, it feels the same, but you and I, we know that it is totally different, but the semantics are very smooth. Maybe you can share your perspective, which you know I found really enlightening over lunch. <laughs> Interesting. <coughs> I've been an avid fan about this <coughs> subject, awareness and consciousness, because in our teaching and law of attraction, that's what we speak yeah. about. Uh, whatever you give attention, energy and focus, you get more of. So is it awareness or consciousness? So I was dabbling in this. Um, so I've been, you know, listening to stuff, reading stuff, you know, I've immersed into stuff. And last week I got uh, this person by the name of uh, Alan Watts. Uh, he, he was a philosopher. Um, you know, he, he, there's a lot of stuff in him, you know. Um, he spoke about awareness and uh, consciousness in his own way, but through the association with other information. Because you see, when you're curious, uh, you're excited, so you have a different, you have dopamine. So dopamine increases your perspective of anything by 100% uh, by 100 times where you can see patterns. So I was seeking for these patterns where it falls. So in one of the sessions when I was just listening, boom, it hit me awareness and consciousness in my own term which was profound for me. <coughs> for me, the most important thing, Derek, uh, when I want to operate anything, when I want to share anything with anyone, is basically it's for me first, because I am experimenting stuff. I want to understand myself. So you know very well in our center, nothing leaves without us testing. There's a few layers that we do. So that Human testing on ourselves. On ourselves. Because <laughs> otherwise, I've seen many, many people out there, they share, but they don't uh, internalize what they're doing. So, I that is one of our strengths, I believe. So, awareness is basically, you know, like those who are watching just for a moment, just focus on your breathing. Your breathing, right? Some of you all are just catching your breath for the first time now, right? But I'm sure that you're actually breathing earlier. Let's focus on your heartbeat now. Heart is beating now. Focus on your heartbeat. The heart is beating, right? I'm sure the heart was beating even earlier, right? So now, what, what is that? That is basically what we call awareness. You brought your awareness of something that has already been happening, right? You brought your awareness. I'm having this conversation with you, Derek. I'm aware. I'm aware of the situation in this room. Whatever I, I'm giving focus, I'm aware. But there's also other things happening out there, like this in our body. Can you please tell, how did you breathe? It's tough to tell. Specialists, they're trying to figure out how to breathe, how it works. So they're going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Still, we don't have a holistic approach. So we have specialized people called specialists going deeper and deeper and deeper, still learning, right? So I'd be either taking a microscope or a telescope, right? But we're not seeing as a whole thing. So it is beating. Your heart is beating. How is it beating? Can you explain? Our verbal description is not always right, misinterpreted anyway. But the fact is, heart is beating, you are breathing. Something is doing it, right? Some sort of intelligence that's making us to operate this way. So we are what we call a microscopic or microcosm that's happening, which is an we are extended from this universe. Now, the same thing that is happening out there, whatever you can see, you can see, but there are certain things you can't see, which doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Just like what you said, my own cloud, and there's also collective clouds out there of people. We're not tapping into that. There's intelligence out there. So coming back to ourselves, we can also go in and start regulating our heartbeat, our breath and all that. How I know? Don't look at me. There are yogis who are already doing it. 
right? They can regulate their heartbeat, they can regulate their breath, they can go on an extended fasting, they can bring the metabolism down, meaning they understood the intelligence that's happening inside. So if you can do that internally, we can always tap into the intelligence out there. So for my understanding about awareness is whatever I'm giving attention, energy and focus in front of me, which I can comprehend is what I'm giving awareness. Consciousness is about the intelligence that is out there, which is also existing, which we haven't tapped into it. So if we are able to get into that consciousness, which is ever available, then you're conscious about certain things. You're conscious about the plants, the other living things, um, the air, the space, you know, everything. You're conscious about it. And if you're able to do that, Derek, how can we hurt another species? You know, if you're part of one. That was my understanding last week about this. Some of you might be just laughing, you know, because it's so obvious for you, but it was not for me. For me, it was eye-opening, you know, about consciousness and awareness. That's my take on that. Eric. Thanks for that. You know, a very clear um, uh, explanation uh, on uh, consciousness and, and awareness. Uh,